What's your go-to weekday dinner? For me, fried rice is always on top of my list. If you are someone who makes the same fried rice over and over again, fried rice can be so much more fun than that. By adding different veggies and ingredients will simply upgrade your usual fried rice. If you're looking for a new, deliciously flavored fried rice recipe in less than 10 minutes, this video is for you. To complete the meal, we also whipping up miso soup and yukari turnip salad to go with this so that you can try them out for dinner without having decision fatigue. <laughs> and one more thing, we went to the biggest kitchen streets in Tokyo called Kappabashi. I'll share the experience and a few pro tips about the cast iron squid. So stay tuned till the end. We're gonna begin by making jacko soy creamy miso soup. For the veggies, we are opting for daikon radish, carrot, onion, thin fried tofu, and konyaku. Chop everything into small bite-sized pieces. I think there are two ingredients you might not be so familiar with, which is thin fried tofu and konyaku. Thin fried tofu called abrage in Japanese is deep fried tofu. If you have time, pour the boiling hot water over the fried tofu, then squeeze the liquid when it's safe enough to touch. This step is optional but will remove some of the oxidized oil. Another new face is konyaku. Konyaku is made with a konyak yam. It's known to be high in fiber and supposed to improve our bowel movement. It has a distinctive earthy taste to it, so I recommend doing a little bit of preparation before adding into the miso soup. It's very simple. Bring the water to a boil, followed by a couple pinch of salt, then blanch them for one to two minutes. Drain the water. In Japan, we enjoy it by adding into the rice or soup, hot pot, stir fry, even into the salad. Let me know if you're familiar with this konyaku. Once everything is done, transfer to the pot followed by jako. According to the Google Translate, it's called dried young sardine in English. Correct me if it's wrong. We usually use fish stock or comb stock for miso soup, but this time, jacko will work as a soup stock. It's 100% edible, so no need to discard it later on. If you are plant-based, use kombu or dried shiitake mushrooms. I have lots of vegan soup ideas, so let me leave the link for you in the description box. Top up the water and cook it on medium heat until all the vegetables are cooked to your liking. In the meantime, we will make this bean sprout dried shrimp fried rice with the Chinese chive sauce, minced ginger and garlic. For the Chinese chives, means third of them for the sauce and the rest just roughly chop them into about 2 inch. Exact measurement will be listed on my blog, the link is on the description box. For the sauce, mix soy sauce, vinegar and toasted sesame oil followed by minced Chinese chives and freshly cracked black pepper. As the time passes, more aroma from Chinese chives will seep into the sauce and become bold in taste. This sauce can be delicious dipping sauce for the gyoza and spring rolls. To the pot, add oil. Any neutral oil is fine, followed by minced ginger and garlic and this dried shrimp. This is what's gonna elevate your fried rice from good too incredible so if you can find it it will be great but if not don't worry about it you can just skip it mm -hmm. 
Let them enhance the aroma for another one to two minutes. I keep the medium heat as we don't want to burn it. When your kitchen starts to smell amazing, add all the leftover cooked rice. Season with a couple pinch of salt, then continue to cook them over high heat. At this point, add bean sprout already washed and Chinese chives. Adjust the taste with the soy sauce and cook it another minute or so because we want to keep the crunchy texture of a bean sprout. This entire cooking process took me only 5 minutes or so. Make sure to cook miso soup first, otherwise you're gonna lose the texture as the time passes. We keep the fried rice under salt since we are going to drizzle this delicious tangy Chinese chive sauce over the fried rice. By the time miso soup should be ready, dissolve miso paste. First in a ladle and mix into the soup. In a way, you want to have lumps in your soup. I love to add soy milk to my miso soup. It just gives a rich creaminess to the soup. Because both soy milk and miso paste are made with the soybeans, it pairs so well. I wouldn't recommend any other milks, but you can try however you want. That's the beauty of cooking. Let me know if you find any specific kind of milk you like. Just in case you need something to make your meal even more enjoyable, let me introduce turnip salad. Again, it's very simple. Thinly sliced turnip, I keep the skin intact, but I feel free to remove the skin if you prefer. This turnip is a bit sweet, peppery, and it has a refreshing, crunchy texture to it. I love to enjoy it raw. Sprinkle some salt, massage until turnip starts to sweat. Leave it for 5 minutes. Squeeze the moisture, and by removing excess moisture ahead of time before tossing with the seasonings, you can retain the texture for a longer period of time. It's especially effective if you are making ahead of time. Now for the seasoning, just sprinkle some yukari seasoning, which is similar to Japanese shiso leaves and pickle plum, but in a powder form. Drizzle your favorite oil if you want. I'm opting for egoma oil, which is high in omega-3 fat toss them to coat and that is it like i said the turnip salad can be made ahead of time and take out from the fridge anytime you want to amp up your meal your dinner is ready to serve drizzle your chinese chive sauce over the fried rice you might want to add some chili oil and crushed nuts if that's your thing I try not to introduce you too many different new items since what's the point if you buy once and never use it after all. But just like today, I'd like to show you new items once in a while to expand your possibility of joy for cooking. As far as I see your creations on Instagram, you guys are much more creative than me. So let me know if you have any ideas how to use fried tofu, dried shrimp, and so on. Before signing off, I have my kitchen update, yay! <laughs> I finally got a new cast iron skillet, which I might use it for a lifetime. We went to the kappabashi where there are a bunch of kitchen appliances sold, both for professionals and just a housewife like myself. Anything more than costing $50 is a huge investment, especially when it comes to the pan, which is something I will use every day. I did lots of research before purchasing it and luckily we went to a store and we met this shop owner. He's an expert in the kitchen appliance industry and explained to me how to pick the right pan so I wanted to share it with you guys. ちょっと手入れ
僕たち見るときって、ここももちろん見るんですよ、ただ、今持っていただいているこっちの絵のところもかなり注目してみます。で鉄のものもって燃えないし、あと痩せてこないんですよ、木が収縮、縮んでこないんですよ、なので、少しそのままの状態で長く使えるだったら、なので、いかにフライパンのこのお皿の部分がまだ使えても、絵がダメになっちゃって使えなくなるよって、結構あるあるなんですよ、これとか、あとこのメーカーとかのものであれば、絵だけ交換すれば、繰り返し繰り返し、何回も使えます。絵が交換する必要ないんで、うん、このままの状態で長く使っていただけますね。26センチの今フライパン持ってもらってたんで、26センチのフライパンを見てもらいたいんですけど、このフライパン鉄です。これも錆びにくい窒化鉄、うん。これと同じ26センチの窒化鉄のこれ、うん、同じだけども形だいぶ違うんですよ。確かにそうですね。こっちは底面がすごい狭いんですよ。確かにここのカーブ立ち上がりが緩やかなんです、うんうんうん、でこっちは底面はとっても広いんですよ、うん、でも立ち上がりがすごく急角度なんです、うんうん、だから同じ26でも焼き料理例えば餃子を焼くとか、うん、ステーキちょっと広大きめの肉焼くんだよっていうのであれば、うん、底面が大きい方が使いやすい、うん、でも焼くだけじゃなくて炒め物もやりたいで炒め物やるときにちょっとこう煽りたいんだっていうときにはここ緩やかな方がやりやすいんですよ。チャーハンとかこっちでやりやすいですね。ああいいなこっちの方が。なので同じフライパン二十六センチで探してたとしても各メーカーによって若干形が異なるんです。だから自分の料理環境あとここの絵の持ちやすさも含めて一個一個触ってもらって見てもらってで選ぶと本当に長くあの相棒になる道具選びができる。To me, I do lots of stir fry rather than grilling, so I needed the smaller surface with the depth. Surprisingly, he took us his secret lab where he tries all the products by himself before he decides to line up for the customer. This video is not sponsored. We literally went to the store without any appointment. I just want to share Kapawashi and the store owner's passion with you guys so that the next time you visit Japan, And look for the best kitchen buddy. You know where to go. Like I always say, I love to share Japanese culture and people who are making t o n of effort to support their passion. If you like these t y p e of contents, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye, またね。